Hi everybody, Linda Carroll here from my studio, Gather of Great Things, and welcome to Waste Not Wednesday. This is our introductory um, uh, video about creating a collage using junk mail or things you might normally just put in the recycle bin or throw away and not give a second thought to. But for the next, I'm going to say nine or ten uh, sessions, because this is going to be kind of an introduction of um, what I'm suggesting that you look for if you're going to be doing these, um, these collages with me, and exactly how I'm going to approach this particular challenge um, from... Uh, Mrs. C and Kathleen. So I I think first, uh, and this won't be a really long video, but I do want to go through the things that I've been collecting and that I'm going to include in my collages. Um, I'm just going to go through my piles here and um, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. And um, Mrs. C and Kathleen, if I've kind of stepped out of bounds as far as um, what I'm what I'm planning on using, let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm not using any books, and I am not using any magazines. However, um, I do save a couple things that. Um, will give me uh, images that are fairly large, which I use um, in my art journals. So let's get started. And um, number one, you'll want to collect envelopes. They can be used envelopes or envelopes um, like we, my husband donates to a number of charities and most of these are the return envelopes um, that they send for you to send money back. And instead of, he, he only contributes once a year, so and we get this junk mail all year. So he saves the envelopes for me and whatever else might be included in the envelope that he thinks that I would need or want or hoard. <laughs> so, um, the first thing we're going to do next week is we're going to make mail art. And this was something that was started, I'm not really sure when, probably 60s or 70s, and people decorated postcards and envelopes and popped them in the mail and it was considered to be, um, you know, art that traveled, art that was shared, um, not not bought, but shared. Um, and when you do that, you run into the problem of the envelope being damaged, um, lost, um, you know, you just don't know. So people started making faux mail art, and probably the most famous one person in the faux mail art field, and I have a book by him somewhere, is, here it is, is Nick Bantock. And um, he, this particular book is written kind of like a, a gallery of a lot of his work, but he also talks about how he creates them, what images he uses, and collecting ephemera. So um, if you want to, you know, just kind of look him up, um, he's a wonderful artist, number one. He is an author. He has written a number of books. And sometimes, like this particular piece, it's, a, it's money, it's foreign money, um, where he would 
I'm, I'm not really sure. He just would frame this, you know, because it was so beautiful. Um, here are some old advertising covers, um, packaging covers, and here is, this would kind of be part of my weird and wonkiness, but here's an ostrich with a flower growing out of her head. And he, what he does is he combines rubber stamps to make these particular images. So he also, and okay, here he has um, music, a music page that uh, he actually drew um, these fish on this page. And so I, I know there's a glare on here, I'm sorry. But he is um, probably one of the most popular and um, most well-known male, male art artist. So, um, I wanted to let you know about him, and he also wrote a series of books, and I'll show you his books. Okay, and the, all, the entire set of books, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and I think there's a seventh which I have not found yet, but it is about correspondences between Griffin and Sabine. And he does all of the artwork in here, decorates his postcards, um, and it's, it's a wonderful book. Here's an envelope that actually opens up, and there's a note inside. So, they're really, really fun books. I could not believe that I found this entire set at the Goodwill. And I paid $1.49 for each book. So, if you have a chance and, you know, can find a deal like I did, you might want to take a look at Griffin and Sabine. He collects, he collects ephemera. Um... He goes through people's trash. Uh, he f finds things at flea markets and elsewhere, and th that's basically what he does. He's also on Etsy if you want to look for him. I'll put a link down below. But the first thing we're going to do is mail art. And this is the envelope that I'm going to use. Uh, number one, I love the color. And I have a great start right here with this vintage image that's on this envelope. So um, there are, if, okay, if you can find envelopes with images already on them, like this one would be a great uh, envelope to use. Uh, for mail art. Unfortunately, it's kind of ripped up, but that's okay. You know, I can deal with that um, Because what I would do is create this piece of mail art and then probably use it in a in a journal or something like that. So um, Or if I decide not to do that, I certainly, you know, could cut this warning out cut out this um, canceled postage image up here uh, and this label right here. So these are the kind of envelopes you want to look for. Um, something that has images on it, the great to cut out. Um, this is a really nice size envelope. It's um, oversized. Uh, has stamps on it already that you can use. So this, these are just a few of the ones that I've collected. I like the ones with color added, um, added to them. And a window, if there's a window in here, 
that's always fun because then you can put something inside the envelope to show through the opening. So that's the number one. That's something that you want to start scrounging for and saving. If you don't um, have any envelopes, um, you can make envelopes out of paper. You know, this is supposed to be uh, giving everybody an opportunity to do collage, just using things that you have around the house that you would, you know, easily be able to find. And um, this is just cardboard. Actually, I got this this morning. I had ordered a book, and this was the protected covering on either side of the book. So you'll need a couple pieces of cardboard because we're going to use this as a substrate uh, to glue images on. So cardboard is great. Um, I love it because you can you can tear it um, and get really nice textures um, to work with. I love this the corrugated cardboard that you know that shows when you start tearing the top off. So you'll need a couple pieces of, of uh, corrugated cardboard. And anything will do. A box. Um, if you don't have corrugated cardboard, uh, cereal boxes, um, anything like that, it will work. And then you need to uh, start collecting some um, pieces of junk mail that are fairly thick, like this uh, calendar that um, we got because of the donation, but anyway, it would have been thrown away. And on this, you can use the calendars out of here and collages, um, and you can also use this as a page in a junk mail journal. And I'm gonna show you how to make a junk mail journal, and then we'll do some collages inside that journal. So start collecting some heavy papers that you can use inside your, your journal. Um, this one has fold outs, which that's a lot of fun. These thinner pages I probably would not use, but I would use the cover. So I would just take these out I'd use this to glue on, probably, unless there's some pretty color in here. I'm always scrounging for paper. I love paper. Like this, this is a really pretty um, texture. So I'm just going to tear that out. And I've got a couple different pieces of that, so I'll save that. You want to save things that really, really uh, speak to you. That you go, you look at it and you go, ah, oh, that's great, I love that. Tear it out of a piece of paper. Or save the entire piece of paper. I like this brick um, texture here. a little bit over here okay I think that's probably it for this one okay this would make a really great um, cover for a, a junk mail journal so this one this one is really good and what we're gonna do is put pages inside and then we're going to stitch it together or use a rubber band to hold it together whatever you want to do this is a nice thick piece too um, we can fold this
and we can use this inside the journal as well. So I already have my journal started. So now this, these are catalogs that have come in the uh, in the mail, and um, Mrs. C and Kathleen, are these okay to use? Um, I think almost everybody gets some kind of a catalog in the mail that usually go right into the trash. Um, I, I keep them. Number one, they're great for cutting um, letters out of. They're great, like this little piece of art down here would be great to use in mail art. my mail art pile going over there. These roses right here would be great to use in a collage. So I would just go through here and start cutting out things that really, really appeal to me. Live, love, laugh, that saying would be great. These are some good textures to cut out. So anyway, catalogs, um, which we don't get a whole lot of anymore because I put a stop but to that. But oh, these are great textures that you can use in collages. And there are lots of images in these um, catalogs too that would be great in collages so start saving your magazines um, this came I'm not sure exactly what it came in but this would be great for lettering here's the word journal that you could use on the front of your junk mail journal, or I may use. These are great sayings. That's a great saying. It's the Magnolia Manifesto, but you can adapt that if you want to. Even things like this. This is a really great color. So I would probably save this page for the color. If you don't like this, uh, the shine of um, this kind of a catalog, you can coat it with um, clear gesso. So, um, you know, there are lots of things you can do, but great, great letters. Okay, so catalog, start saving. Um, this one, why did I save this one? Not really sure. Sure I had some idea. Oh, the word free, or the letters in the word free. So, this is a really nice heavy piece um, to use inside the uh, junk mail journal. Gotta do is fold it in half. Okay, and this one is great. This Tommy Bahama. Oh wow. I may have to make two junk mail journals. This one folds out. You know, this would be great for a folio. Okay, we're gonna make a folio too. This will be so so much fun. All right, so we're gonna do some collage on different substrates. We're going to make a journal with using junk mail for the pages. We're going to make a folio using this. Again, this is really nice, heavy paper. Um, also good for lettering, lettering for your ransom note letters. I save this because I think this uh, the Chinese lettering makes really good texture on your page. That and this 
I'm not sure where this came from. Um, it was probably something that I ordered face shields. Um, but the this receipt thing or packaging thing is all in Chinese. So these would be interesting textures to add to a page. This I just cut out of the front of an envelope. Grateful. Look for words that you want to include in your collages. Now, we get a lot of calendars, mainly because of my husband's um, donations. And we're going to do something different. We're going to do some landscape, um, surrealistic landscape collages. And there are a lot of images that we can use um, in order to, oh, this would be a great one, in order to do our landscapes. So if you have any old calendars around, um, I have an entire file of old calendars. These are going to be wonderful. These, if you can find them with landscapes like this, these make great surrealistic um, collages. So this will be a lot, a lot of fun. Okay. Little postcards we get in the mail can be put made uh, like tags to put inside a journal. Okay, here's our town planner, and there's a lot of junk in here, and it's too big, um, but the numbers are great, and there are images that we could use in, um, in the journal. Okay, this I saved just because of the gold seal on the front. I think that would be fun in a collage. Here's some more catalogs that I have saved. This one is really nice because the uh, it's it's matte. It's not shiny. And I was looking through this one earlier, and I think I might have a lot of images in here to use in my Dancing Diva um, art journals. So. I think uh, I think this is great. Also nice textures too. Nice colors. Nice lettering for your ransom note letters. Okay. Next, uh, and I want to show you my piles of, and this is only out of two. Um, Look at all these. This is only after out of two uh, two drawers that I put these in. So these are all the business envelope size, most of them, and these are the smaller sizes. A lot of these have windows in them, and then these are the used um, envelopes and oversized envelopes. So, I think we might, um, I know, we're going to make an envelope journal. Um, just made up of envelopes that we're going to glue together. So, save, save your envelopes, used or not, and we'll make a journal out of envelopes. That'll be a lot of fun. Okay, I have a few more things. To show you this is a piece of mail um, and it, it would be considered mail art but it really came through the mail it came from England and there are a lot of neat stamps on here and the back as well and in here I think I don't think I can use most of this stuff because um, most of it comes from books. There's little tiny pieces of books. But there are some photographs in here that I think I'm, I'm, I might use. We'll see. 
if it's if it's allowed by my challenge folks and here's another um, another envelope that is full of mail art so um, this particular envelope I save all of these envelopes because we can make a journal out of these envelopes as well and I don't think I can use anything in here I think I already took out um, things that we can use most of this is book pages so but to make a journal out of this all we need to do is is glue this and fold it in half and we can cover this and have a journal cover. That may be in the future, not this particular series of, of uh, get-togethers. This is a form that we could use. These, um, the lines, all this is interesting texture. I don't even know what language this is in. I don't recognize it. And then we have some fun, fun stuff. Okay. I save the little labels off of fruits and vegetables and um, use them in my, in my collages. They're a lot of fun, different colors and everything. Um, so you might want to start saving those little tiny labels that come on your fruits and vegetables just just peel them off I did not know that I read something not too long ago that said these are actually edible um, I wouldn't do it <laughs> but if you if you happen to mistakenly bite into a gala apple and um, and eat this label it won't hurt you supposedly uh, don't do it because I won't do it but that's what I heard this this I, you know I love the number five so this was on um, something I'm not sure what maybe a five pack of um, avocados so save save your little stickies stamps that's one thing that you really, really want to uh, to start hanging on to. Um, this particular one happens to be the 100th anniversary of mail order. So I'm sure that this is probably going to go on my, my um, faux mail, art mail. So that one I, I really, really love little bags this is a little bag it looks like it's from a candy store and we can use this inside our um, our junk journal fold it in half or fold it here and make a little pocket this is really really cute really cute postcards you know, we buy all those postcards if we go on a trip, and then we forget to send them to anybody, and they're just laying in a drawer somewhere. So we can use these postcards in our collages and also in our journal. Here's an inspection tag. Um, not sure where it's from, but another great thing. We can make tags out of this or, um, or collage right on this particular tag and it's heavy paper it's great I think this is a ticket um, these are all tickets that would normally have been thrown away um, but they were saved and they're really in good shape we can absolutely use these in our collages uh, this is a, um, a Dallas Gas Company bill from uh, 1942. Um, so this kind of thing can definitely be used in, in collage. What a great stamp. 
these are little tags uh, clothing tags um, that we can use in collages I, I have a number of them and these are number one in a, in a fabulous little envelope and I have these are off of a cigar box and apparently they charged 15 cents tobacco tax on the box of cigars this is a lab, little label I'm not sure what it's from this is a label uh, let's see off of um, I don't know it's from Switzerland but it's pretty. I like the lettering on that. So, there are treasures. These are all stamps. Beautiful stamps. Definitely wonderful to use um, in, in collages. So start, start taking the stamps off of the mail that you get and saving them. I saved stamps and I still, um, for years, I think I pulled this one um, off of an old envelope, probably from the 60s, and I thought it was just so pretty. Letters Mingle Souls. I think I was going to use that in another journal and forgot that I put it up there. Um, this is an, a, tea, a tea card that was in a box of in English tea. So this could be used as is or the butterfly could be cut out. But I also love the, the back, the, the lettering on the back. Um, these are stickers out of junk mail that we've gotten. Okay, these are um, food labels and I believe labels from some kind of an alcohol. Spirits, I guess. This is definitely um, wine. I have a lot of these. I, I actually ordered these um, years ago. But they're from the bottles. These are unused. But you can definitely peel labels off of bottles. You can peel labels off of... Uh, tin cans um, they may not be as pretty as these are because these are quite vintage um, but they'll work just as well they really will uh, and then oh here are some cigar bands that can you be used in collage these are tags um, from something I'm not quite sure what um, but they can also be used in collage and I do that often I, I do that a lot I love using old old tags um, that kind of thing and the last thing I have here in these piles oh this is a an old a vintage chemist pharmacy label that is just great so you might look at those and then these are office supplies um, that you know you might have just laying around the house hanging around the house these little red labels um, and these are some larger ones um, that work great in collages. And this is a ring, ring tag. 
that works great. But this is the kind of thing that I'm I'm collecting. I also, um, if I if I have time, um, I'm going to put together a couple bundles of the these this ephemera and get it up in my Etsy shop. Um, so if you can't, you know, if you're having trouble finding stuff that you want to use, I'll have some bundles in my shop. Um, probably get them up by Friday. And um, there'll be little bits and pieces of, and I have so much of this stuff. Um, I, I would love to share it with you. And, um, and it needs to be, it needs to be used and, it needs to be put in a, in a really creative ad adventure. So, eco art. We're doing our part to uh, save the planet, to recycle things that normally would end up in the landfills. And what we're doing is taking these things and creating art with them usable art, decorative art, art to give as gifts or um, to sell if you're fortunate enough to do that. So I hope that you will join me on Wednesdays for our Waste Not Wednesdays using junk and ephemera and trash uh, to create our, our collages. I'm really excited about this. And I think I think we'll have a lot of fun um, working with this type of thing. Um, I, I think I told you before, when I, I always look for stuff um, when I'm outside and walking around, which I used to do a lot more. Um, and I would pick up... Uh, anything that I thought I could use in a piece of artwork and playing cards, receipts, tickets, um, things from the lottery. People just throw that stuff on the ground. Um, I don't know that I'd be picking up that stuff right now, but I might um, if it's something that I really, really thought I could use. Um, but there's so much stuff out there that you know, shouldn't be just lying around on the ground, especially as artists, we could use in our in our creative endeavors. So have fun this week looking for ephemera, looking for pa papers that you can use in the collage, saving junk mail, you know, so we can put together our, our folios and our junk mail journals and um, and we'll have, a, I think, a, a great adventure. And who knows, this is only supposed to last for nine or 10 weeks. If we really get into it, it may last for a lot longer. So I hope everybody's having a, a wonderful day or evening, whichever the case may be. And um, I hope you'll join me on Mondays for my Mindful Monday Guided Collage videos and then on Wednesday for our waste not junk mail videos making turning junk mail into gems so many many blessings to you bye for now